Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday Live activation. How's everybody doing today? So today we're going to be working on the throat chakra. So I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the throat chakra, how it may become blocked and kind of the side effects of a blockage or imbalance, why the throat chakra is important, how to unblock it. And then I will do a channeled activation with my throat chakra singing bowl. So this is a crystal alchemy singing bowl tuned specifically for the throat chakra. I absolutely love this bowl. This is my second favorite out of the bowls that I have next to my uh, violet flame sacral chakra bowl. And by the way, I got these from Solo Soaring. It's a wonderful Pleiadian starseed woman where I got these crystal alchemy bowls from. And I have her website in the very bottom of the description if you are in the market for a crystal bowl and would like to get one for yourself. So these crystal bowls are incredibly powerful and they are tuned to heal and activate you. How's everybody doing today? I'm so excited. So this is part four, I think, or five in our chakra series. Yeah, part five. Wow. Um, so we've gone through the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, and now we are doing the throat. So if you haven't done the other ones, I'll leave a link in the description for the chakra series. Now there's, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, if you scroll down, you'll see I made a playlist for the chakras. Oh, thank you, Natalia. You're so sweet. Beautiful. Hi, Jim. How's it going? <laughs> Jim is an old family friend. Awesome. Hi, Jay. Yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be nice. Hello, Hopewell Farms. Thank you, Victor. Shared the link for solosoaring.com. Christine, hello. Hello, Yoga, Mary, hello, Katie, Jen, Lakeside Laura, Victor, Michelle, hello, everybody. Awesome. And I see we got Robert Gardner from Sedona. He's going to be sending us some of these Sedona energies as well for this activation. Uh, SD Michael, Lily's new DNA activation is epic. Thank you. So, yeah, I'll make an announcement about the DNA activation. So I just released last week a new DNA activation, a one hour channeled session. And it comes with a workshop on how to activate your DNA and how to connect with your star family. So if you're wondering who your star family is or want to connect with them, this workshop can help you do that. And followed by a one hour channel DNA activation with the Arcturians, Syrians, Lyrans, uh, Pleiadians, inner earth beings, the archangels. And I had to change the price on the uh, DNA activation workshop. So it's incredibly budget friendly, very, very cheap. Um, and I did my taxes the other day <laughs> and I haven't been charging taxes for anything. So I just got hit with a really big bill um, that I have to pay for all of the taxes. So I bumped the price up a little bit. And through this week, I'm going to keep the price down. And then after that, I will probably bump up the price again. Yeah, the government wants their cut too. Not happy with the IRS. But anyways, so if you would like to get that DNA activation session, and it's very similar to the group sessions that I've been doing recently. Basically the same thing. It's a, a new recorded version. Yeah, and we've gotten amazing feedback on it. Doreen, I love love the DNA activation in the workshop was fantastic. So much useful information. Beautiful. Yeah, what I've learned. So these, you know, the UFOs and star being started coming to me too, maybe three years now and put me through Starseed Boot Camp. They taught me all of these things. Crash course helped me activate my abilities and activate my DNA. So the workshop part is really what I've learned through daily practice, dedicating and focusing my all of my energy and my entire life on this put into, you know, a 45 minute workshop plus the channeled activation. Hi, Megs. And I also just posted a ET messages video yesterday. So that will be at the top of my channel if you want to check that out. 
they, the ETs, uh, the Galactic Federation, the Pleiadians, Arcturians told me some interesting news about our DNA yesterday that's in that video. Very exciting news about our DNA. Thank you, Flask. I appreciate you. Sharon, it was amazing activation. Larry, yeah, give it a try. Lakeside Laura, the DNA workshop explains everything perfectly in the meditation. Wow, thank you, Laura. Beautiful. And Leah, thank you. Taxes are no fun. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, man. This was my, uh, you know, um, this was kind of like my first year figuring this out and, you know, got to learn the hard way, I guess. Um, yeah. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate it. I've been working on the heart and lower chakras for so long. I'm so excited to finally heal the higher chakras. Yeah. So going back to the, the throat chakra. So the throat chakra, it is like the center of, you know, expression, communication, but it's actually much, much, much more than that. That blew me away about the DNA in the recent video. I know, right? Definitely. So the throat chakra is actually much, much more. It's very profound. And I remember whenever the star beings started, my Lyran star family, Talia, the light blue being that I talk about, she instructed me to go through the chakras starting from the bottom. And by the time I got through the to the throat, I felt like a completely different person. I felt transformed and I actually stopped. <laughs> and then like, you know, a few weeks later, they're like, okay, now it's time to do the third eye. Uh, but I felt so good by the time I went through each chakra. And like I've said in the previous live activations, it's a really good idea to focus at least a few days or a week on each chakra so that you can really deep dive into that. Uh, so that's what we've been doing the past uh, four weeks. So after this activation, you can focus on the throat for a week. And then next weekend, we are doing the third eye, which is going to be nuts. I'm excited for that one, but I'm excited for the throat. So the throat has been very profound. So the throat chakra, like I said, is about communication, expression, about speaking your truth. So if you've ever felt like, you know, afraid to be who you truly are, afraid to speak up, maybe at like meetings or in school, afraid to speak up maybe with your family or afraid to afraid to just show your true colors. Hi, Lisa Lewis. Yeah. So if you're afraid to, if, if you've ever felt afraid, thank you, Lisa, <laughs> to speak your truth or just be your authentic self. And what I found, what the, the Syrians showed me, actually, I was on, so I had a spontaneous past life regression. I've, only, I've had three of these in the past two, three years, in the past couple of years. And one of them had to do with the throat chakra. So I was out on a walk, on a jog, and I was just like, clearing out all of this negative old energy from like past lifetimes and stuff. And so like I went for like a walk and a jog. I'm trying to get this stuff out. All of these emotions were coming up. And while I was on this walk jog, the Syrians contacted me and they said, hey, there was there's a past life that's still affecting you today. Very traumatic experience. So you need to become aware of it so that you can clear it and move past it. And then suddenly I was like downloaded with the visions and some memories of being burned at the stake as a witch in the middle ages. So I saw myself like burning at the stake. And of course I wasn't actually a, a witch, I was like a, a healer, but you know, they burned millions, probably billions of people at that time. Um, and so because of that lifetime, I, my soul was like afraid to speak its truth, to be who I truly was because I had been burned alive for it. So what I found in through like doing star origins readings with people and talking to other star seeds in the community, a lot of us have deep issues with our throat chakra from just being different in this lifetime, in childhood and being different in past lifetimes. So it's a really, really deep wound that a lot of us have. And this was, I had this experience before I started sharing my story on YouTube. So basically in preparation to be able to speak my truth, to be able to share this information and in my story with everybody, I had to clear out the throat chakra. 
and becoming aware of it is a big part of it. And as you become aware of it, and then I like I felt it for a moment, I felt all of like kind of the pain, the fear, and then I just released it and it was transmuted. It's very helpful. So I'm sure most of you have had lifetimes like that. So during the activation portion, we will uh, we'll cut cords also and help to clear out any past life trauma. Thank you, Tony. Love you. You may also feel physical sensations. So the past couple of weeks, actually, I've been feeling like scratchy throat. And, uh, and, and I know that other people, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like I had a vision of my mom not too long ago where she had, I don't even really want to say it, but there was something wrong with her throat. And basically they said, you need to do some healing sessions on her and help heal and clear her throat, or it will manifest into a disease or some sort of an ailment. So I have met people who, because they couldn't speak their truth and their throat chakra is so damaged, they've developed like cancer. For example, May Levy did a a session with somebody who there, there were two entities attached to this person's throat chakra. So she cleared that out. And then whenever she talked to her during the, the meeting, I guess she does the session first and then they talk. Uh, she found out that this lady had actually had throat cancer and she went back to the hospital to get tested like a couple weeks later or whatever. And it was completely gone. The cancer had just vanished. So issues with the throat chakra can also manifest into physical ailments. Pretty crazy, pretty wild. So you may feel like a scratchy throat. You may feel, um, you may get like lumps in your throat. You may feel like congested. Um, yeah, things like that. And that's a good indication that your throat is clearing and there's being work, there's work being done on your throat chakra. Checking the comments real quick. Thank you, Natalia. You speak so lovely nowadays. Good work. It's taking some practice. Lots of hard work. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Isn't that incredible? Lewis, you rock. You guys are awesome. Well, with, when it has to do with my mother, so my mother's going through a hard time right now. She's going through some very big life-changing experiences. And basically, my father, who has passed, has been coming to tell me that to help her to help her in, in do healing sessions on her. And she's, she's never done. I did a session with her with the bowls. She had a profound experience. She was crying by the end. She's open to this stuff, but she's never done it before. And she was one of the only people that had my back whenever I started seeing these UFOs. So I know my mom's connected in this as well. And I know that she's also been up on the ships. The star beings told me because it runs in families. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's why, that's why. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Is it okay to do these chakra activations out of order? Thank you for everything you do. Yeah, you can do them out of order. I highly suggest starting with the, the root chakra and working your way up. But sometimes like, a, you know, a, there's a certain chakra that really begs our attention immediately. So if you feel intuitively called to check out another one first, feel free to do that. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate it. Checking. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. My mom's going through a very life changing um, thing right now. And she's done so much for me. So, you know, she, I, I saved her house the other day. She's open to it. She's learning. So basically I'm starting to teach her these things, which is pretty awesome. All right. So let's see. Also, before we go any further there, I've partnered with Hopewell Farms CBD. So if you are interested in CBD or looking for a new CBD supplier, this is very high quality CBD that they do energy work on it. I take it every single day. It helps physically with the body and helps harmonize and balance. The ETs actually told me to start taking this. It helps with uh, anxiety and also with meditation. Uh, it helps me sleep at night too. So I take it before bed. Um, Hopewell Farms CBD is running a new promo code for Mother's Day. So the promo code is good through May 19th, and it is the code is LilyMD for Mother's Day. And there is a link in the description for that. 
Hopewell Farms CBD. So speaking your truth, self-expression. Also, this the throat chakra has a lot to do with intuition. And not only you speaking and expressing your truth or your, your authentic self, but also being able to pick up on other things, situations, energies, like you'll you'll be able to feel the uh, the vibrations more. Like if you've ever just known that somebody's lying or not telling the truth or, you know, you got a weird feeling about something like that's part of it. Um, but it also has a lot to do with your intuition because it connects. It's between your heart and your third eye, the throat chakra is. So the heart is a huge part of connecting with the divine, your higher self. Whenever the star beings were teaching me how to make contact with them and connect with them, they said the heart is the key. That's really the key. So we just did the heart chakra last week. That's really like the heart chakra, DNA activation, have been the two biggest things that the star beings have showed me and what they want me to teach the heart and DNA activation. So, and then the third eye, of course, helps you to perceive these other realities. And these are like portals too. Uh, and the third eye has a lot to do with intuition, but your, your throat connects the two. So you can kind of like merge those two together and it's incredibly powerful. You can even develop telepathy with the throat chakra being opened and activated and unblocked. You'll be able to perceive and receive or hear information and vibration more easily, which is incredible. So the throat chakra also has to do with your intuition. It's a huge power center for intu intuition. And the throat chakra will also help you create harmony, harmony and, and balance within yourself. If, if you're ever like, okay, if you have like a blocked throat chakra or there's something wrong with a throat chakra, you'll have a lot of noise in your head, a lot of noisy voices that are often harsh, critical, insecure, jealous, um, yeah. So if your throat chakra is blocked or closed, you know, you have that voice in your head that's like, oh, you can't do this or, oh, this isn't, you know, it's not good enough or they do it better or whatever. You know, you're just really harsh on yourself. That's a throat chakra issue. Part of that is. And it also keeps you in, in the mind. So the throat chakra being blocked, it keeps you from being able to connect your heart in your third eye. So it pushes you up into your thoughts and into the ego, which is where you get that like internal mental struggle and battle. And I saw a couple donations. Thank you, Space Out Radio. Hello. We did an interview on, on Space Out Radio recently, if you guys want to check that out too. And thank you, Larry. I appreciate that. So and it also can make you it can keep you in fight or flight mode and cause a lot of anxiety a blocked throat chakra. Yeah. So, I mean, those are some pretty common things. I've had to work through that a ton. Pat Co says, my teacher called the throat chakra the way to higher communication. When I talk to my star guys, I hear it in the middle of my head and sort of an echo in the throat. Very strange. Yeah, that's a good point. So there's another trick that I learned where if you actually focus on your throat chakra, it stops all thoughts. Like if you were to try it, you know, right now, just focus on your throat. You're not going to have any thoughts. Test it out for like five, 10 seconds. It's insane. I use that trick actually to help me meditate sometimes whenever I was kind of training my brain. Hi, Carly. Uh, so yeah, if you focus on your throat chakra, it stops the thoughts. And it's also, it does so much more. It does help you connect to, to those higher realms. And for these activations, and even just in general, the, the throat chakra is, that's what the star beings connect with me. So I did a Reiki session, and I shared this in the Telegram chat. I did a Reiki session like a year ago where uh, the woman saw an additional eye in my throat chakra, an additional third eye. 
And, you know, I checked back with her yesterday. I was like, have you ever seen that anywhere before? And she said, no, I've, she's never seen it. Uh, so I think it's, it's something like the, the third eye there is something that's special to my unique lineage and my unique star origins. But anyways, uh, since then, they were the star beings were showing me the throat and always the throat and the eye. So through these activations, I am they're connecting with my throat chakra, and my throat chakra acts as a portal for them to come through, which is pretty fascinating. So then during the activations, just the thoughts, even the vibrations from my thoughts and intention, from visualization and from the sound of my voice are helping to manifest that into the physical reality, which the throat chakra can also help you to manifest in the physical reality. Thank you, Robert. Love and gratitude. Let me check the chat real quick. Lisa says her husband and I have done a lot of throat chakra work. It's a big one. Please hit the like. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Yeah. Uh, Samantha got a sore throat this week. Talk about synchronicity. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the uh, focusing on the throat and then and then it's uh, it stops your thoughts. It's incredible. A really amazing uh, trick. So let's see what else. Ways that you can unblock it. Or let's go through whenever your throat chakra is open, how you'll feel. You'll be able to hear your inner guidance. You'll be able to hear and connect with your heart connect with your, uh, your third eye, your heart, you'll be able to possibly even communicate telepathically with the spiritual realm or your star family. You'll feel grounded. So you won't be all up in your head. You won't have like, you know, anxiety racing thoughts. Um, that, that noisy voice in your head, that's very harsh or critical or insecure starts to go away. You'll be able to express your authentic self, who you truly are. And it also helps with communication. And a few things that you can do to help practice this throughout the week and open your throat chakra is using crystals, using blue crystals. So the throat chakra is known for being blue. That's I'm wearing a dark blue shirt. It's very dark blue. But if you wear blue, that can also help open and clear and heal your throat chakra. So blue crystals, and you can like lay with it on your throat chakra or just hold on to it. And also making sounds like humming or singing can actually help to clear and open the throat chakra too. So lately, especially the past couple of weeks, I've noticed myself just start humming or singing out loud. And I would never do that before, but I know it's it's because I'm activating and healing and clearing my throat chakra. So vibration, uh, making like a loud noise with your throat, kind of like pushing the energy out of there or humming or singing and even walking, jogging can help because you're releasing stuck energy in there. So movement is going to help as well. And uh, you can even like add vibration to your throat to help to help. So I have this and sometimes I'll do like, <laughs> I'll just put it on the, in the front or on the back of my throat. And that helps to, to open and clear it. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, does it help a person sing in key? I don't know because I'm not always in key in key. <laughs> I'm sure as you practice with it, it definitely can. Thank you. Yeah, the blue nails for the throat chakra. Whistling, I'm sure that helps. You know, you're, you, there's energy going through. You're making some sort of a sound. Or if you like kind of cough or like <clears throat> make like kind of like a loud noise to kind of clear it. Yeah, does anybody have any questions before we get started? And we'll start the activation in just a second. Deep breathing, yeah. Ooh, lapis lazuli. That is a great crystal. That comes up for, uh, it's come up for myself with ancient Egypt and somebody I did a reading on. 
So the lapis lazuli, I think, was a very powerful crystal, especially in, especially in ancient Egyptian times. It seems like they, they use that one frequently. So that is exciting. Just checking the comments real quick. Yeah, you'll know if your throat chakra is open and activated, if you're feeling more grounded, if you're being able to express yourself, your truth, um, your intuition will increase. You'll be able to hear your inner guidance and your just your communication in general will, will get better. I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to take a couple sips and read the comments for a second and then we'll get started. Hmm, deep breaths, humming, singing. How long does it take to unblock the throat chakra? That's a good question. I would focus on it for at least a week. Yeah, and like tomorrow you could just say affirmations, you know, I am opening my throat chakra, I am healing my throat chakra. You can wear blue, you can have blue crystals. Uh, you can do more meditations on it if you'd like. That's very powerful whenever you do meditations on it. Um, but yeah, I would focus on it for at least a week, but we're also upgrading our chakras. So I've done a lot of work on the throat chakra and now I'm working on the throat chakra again. So it's, it's good to periodically go through it. We're like onions. You're peeling the layers and also our, our chakras are being upgraded at this time as, as we're integrating more light and embodying more of our light and activating our, our light body we will actually have new chakras that we'll be able to use. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I believe it will heal damage in the throat. I would probably lay down whenever you, I've been doing this uh, the past couple of weeks since I've been feeling them work with my throat chakra. Whenever I lay down to for bed or to meditate, I put a crystal on my throat to help it physically heal as well. Can blue rocks work? Yeah. Blues, the blues is a specific frequency, so the colors will help. Just wearing the color blue will help also. She says, walking lightly says, it does help you get notes more accurate. I like it. I could see that. Blue kyanite is another good crystal. Okay. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you. Hot Zach says, we also need to speak our truths kindly because we are all one. That's 100%. That's true. That's true. Uh, why I got attack mostly on throat chakra and heart. Those are two really big ones. Yeah, those are two really big ones because it's trying to keep you from speaking your truth and connecting with the higher realms, connecting to your higher self and your heart. So if you watch the video that I posted yesterday, it's a good idea to put, you know, protect yourselves, cleanse and clear your energy every single day. Um, do sage because we're clearing and releasing a lot of old BS right now. <laughs> okay. All right. If you guys are ready, we can go ahead and get started. Hi, Neil. Blue moonstone, that sounds good. Yeah, any crystal that's blue. And other crystals are, are good for it as well. This is a moss agate. It's not quite blue, but it, it helps with healing. I'm going to light some sage real quick. Just a little bit of sage. And if you're watching the replay, you may want to pause this and get some crystals. You may want to get some sage. So we'll go ahead and we're about to start the activation. Go ahead and set sacred space around each and every one of us. Setting sacred space around each and every one of us. Moving all of my 
crystals. Okay. So setting sa sacred space around each and every one of us, declaring this space sacred. And our intention is to clear, heal, open, and balance the throat chakra, clearing out any old or stuck energies. Upgrading our chakras. Every single person watching this video right now, here live, or the replay. All right, if you guys want to go ahead and get comfortable. And the star crystal I got from um, from an Australian couple who is part of the community crystal. I'll, I'll make an announcement. They're about to launch a website. They have a, um, a lot of crystals. So I'll announce that next week. I can't remember what their <laughs> business is called. Okay. Low hidden. All right, if everybody wants to go ahead and get comfortable. If you have headphones, that would be great. You don't necessarily need them, but it helps. I have the throat chakra ball here with me from Sola Soaring, Crystal Alchemy Singing Bowl tuned for the throat. So the frequencies from this bowl will help to clear, open, heal you. Now, if you want to kind of close your eyes, we'll go ahead and start. Releasing any tension from your body. We call in the Archangels of the Four Directions, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, the Archangels of North, East, South, and West. See them coming in to the room bringing platinum light. Creating a sacred space, cutting off any interference from the outside world. These archangels hold each direction of your energetic field with platinum light. And we call on Archangel Metatron of the above space. Archangel Metatron comes down from the Grand Central Sun all the way out in space. Bringing a platinum light through the stars, from the divine, through the sky. down in through the top of your roof or wherever you are. And brings down the Christ consciousness grid. Golden Christ conscious grid from the Grand Central Sun. Bringing that in through your crown chakra, the energy center at the top of your head. 
See your crown beginning to open as it fills with light. Focusing on that spot for a second. The Christ conscious grid enters in through the crown and see light coming down from the crown chakra down through your third eye and then Archangel Metatron and then Archangel Metatron anchors this light this grid of Christ consciousness in your throat chakra We call upon Archangel Sandalphon of the below space, coming from deep within the earth, bringing up the crystalline grid of the earth, down from the earth, coming up to the surface, coming in through the chakras at the bottom of your feet, Bringing the 5D crystalline grid up through the lower chakras, the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, and then anchoring it in the throat chakra. We call in your ascension team. Your guides of the highest love and light, your star family of the highest love and light, the Arcturians, the Mantis, to assist us in this healing and activation today. Feel yourself surrounded as your ascension team, your guides, your star family surround you with their loving light, their loving energy. Feeling the energy shift. Now focus on your throat chakra for a moment. Focusing on the center of your throat. See this energy center in your throat. It may appear dim or murky may appear blocked, closed. We now begin sending light to your throat chakra, light and frequencies. As this happens, your throat chakra begins to grow as it fills with light, expanding. The archangels and your ascension team expand out your throat chakra. Stretching it out where it is bigger than your body so that we can take a deep look within. Looking in this portal of your throat chakra, is there anything you see that may be hindering or blocking this energy center? This may be from childhood, maybe back in school when you were, were too afraid to be yourself 
or speak up. This could be from a past relationship. Now the star beings, the mantis and angels step forward and begin sending light, transmuting love and light into the throat chakra to help clear out and heal any imbalances or traumas from this lifetime. Seeing this bright light wash away, clearing and cleansing, washing away. And then looking into your throat chakra, we see if there's anything from past lifetimes that may be affecting you negatively that can be cleared at this time. If your star family or guides would like to show you what this is gently, we ask that they do so now. There may be multiple past lifetimes, many past lifetimes where you were unable to express your truth, be yourself, or you may have been silenced. We now ask for this to gently come up to be transmuted by love and light. You do not have to hide anymore. Times are changing. See love and light reaching all of these past lives, your younger self, transmuting and washing away, releasing this stuck old energy. Now Archangel Michael steps forward and we ask that he, with his sword, cut any cords from these past lifetimes, from your childhood or this lifetime. See him cutting these cords with his sword, releasing you from these traumas, from these energies, from people, bringing more of your true divine light and energy back to you and pulling out. You may see your guides pulling out things that do not belong in your throat. Pulling it all out, whatever does not belong, anything that may be hindering you from expressing your true self, from speaking, from connecting to the divine.
See it all being pulled out and transmuted with love and light. As this happens, see your throat chakra beginning to fill with light and becoming this beautiful, bright energy vortex of blue light. It begins to regain its color. Your throat chakra now shrinks back down to normal sized, perfectly balanced and healthy. Still focusing on your throat at this time. Feel your throat chakra becoming cleared, opened, balanced. You may visualize it as a bright blue color. With an opened, balanced, healed throat chakra, you are able to express your authentic self. This will help you create the reality of your desires, manifest into this physical reality. An open, clear, balanced throat chakra will allow you to express yourself creatively through painting, art, writing, music, whatever that may be. With an open, cleared, balanced throat chakra, you begin to step more into your power, your truth. Your intuition grows. Your communication and connection with the divine grows. And now we see your heart chakra below from the center of your chest. See a light coming up from your heart, meeting the throat chakra, and then beginning to merge. Connecting your heart and your throat. See a beautiful channel being created between the two so that you may speak from the heart, live from the heart, express your heart, hear your heart, embody your highest self. With your heart and throat chakra merging, you see a light now coming from your throat chakra and going up to the divine, up to the third eye, to the crown and to the divine, creating another channel directly to your higher self, to higher realms, opening a more clear channel to where you can hear them, connect with them, channel them, these higher frequencies, this love and light. See yourself as a bright pillar, a bright channel. Feel your heart, your throat, your third eye connected. And as this happens, your light, your energetic field begins to brighten and expand. You feel more grounded, comfortable and confident in who you are. able to express yourself clearly and creatively. Mm -hmm. 
If there are any last adjustments that need to be made, we ask that the archangels, your ascension team, make any last adjustments to your throat or your energetic field. Seeing this bright, beautiful blue color shining. Seeing yourself as a pillar of light. And now after making any last adjustments, the angels release your energetic field. The archangels take a step back. Your ascension team. As you are feeling harmonized, balanced, open, connected. Now you may begin coming back, feeling peaceful, harmonized, balanced, more able to express yourself, to communicate more in your power, in your truth, connected, intuitive, a channel for the divine. You may begin coming back to your body. You may want to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then let me know how you feel and how your experience was. Sending gratitude to all of the angels, to our star families, to all of these amazing beings, sending them so much love and light. Hmm. Interesting. Tabitha says her whole body was buzzing very loudly. Interesting. Victor says, when you asked to cut cords, I felt an energy jolt through my body. Also, when asked to work on the throat chakra, I visualized and could almost feel hands of my ascension team moving in my throat. Interesting. Yeah, that's the visual that they were, they were showing me visuals of the whole process as, and yeah, they were basically like, they showed me them pulling your throat chakras open in, in working on them. Was there a lot of outside noise? Outside noise? If there was, I apologize. Larry, I heard more deep humming. Victor coughed a couple times. Cool. Ha! <laughs> RA started bur burping. That's funny. Thank you, Mara. Tyler feels wonderful. Amanda, profound, beautiful. Nick, my favorite one ever. You say that every time. Upgraded today for sure. Loved every second. I'm a pillar of light. I believe in myself and am connected to divine at all times. Dragons, Mantis, Michael, Metatron, Sandalphon. Yeah, and the Mantis, well, somebody mentioned them in the uh, Telegram group. We'll have to incorporate them. They're masters at energy and frequency. Uh, we've done some activations with them before, and I actually saw one yesterday. You drew something, lines and dots. And thank you so much, Larry. Lovely session. Ah, all right. Can you speak of what the mantis connection is? So there's a lot of uh, the mantis beings. There's uh, oftentimes they're on like these galactic federation ships and like Pleiadian ships. They're part of the crew because they're masters at energy and frequency. So they help like the, the ship work and they help with the frequency. So a lot of us have mantis guides or, or just 
the mantis in general that are sending frequencies and helping work on our energetic field at this time. They're very powerful beings. Amazing. Thank you, my dear. Victor throat somehow feels less scratchy now. Beautiful. Feels amazing. So much heat. Interesting, Sansai. Oh, feel exhausted. <laughs> Just bought some CBD oil. Off. Oh, awesome. Tingle and, and tickles at my crown. Interesting. Chris, that was amazing. They removed a black entity from my throat. Incredible. Yeah. Whenever we went and did like the ancestral or, or the, the past life part, they were showing me just pulling stuff out. Diana felt pressure on my throat until you said it was released. And I saw blue and green clouds swirling. Beautiful. Zach, my, while my throat was warm and vibrating, your meditations get more intense every week. So since they've been, they've been working on my throat again, the past couple of weeks, I know that they're about to get more intense. The activations are because that's where I channel from is from my throat. So we'll see how it goes. Carol third eye is jumping a lot. Saw a throat chakra caged like bars at the front. All gone. Thanks to Archangel Michael. Wow. Oh, felt irritated. Throat chakra. Very peaceful. Yeah. So see how you guys feel um, the next few days. Mary felt the star beings all around. Beautiful. Felt burdens being released. Lots of body jolts. Leah was shown i have to speak up when i go to events by myself yeah i get that you should come to the um to the journey to truth conference there's a, a handful of us going and it's a smaller group and if anybody is interested in going to the journey to truth conference uh there's a link for their website at the very bottom of the description it's in may i think may 21st through 25th um in grafton illinois it's going to be a lot of fun but this this conference is going to be like smaller than the Orlando one. That was crazy. There were so many people. So this one's going to be like intimate and, and yeah, it'll be really fun. That's what I was doing right before you said mantis. My fingers were doing that on my throat. Interesting. Mm, Christine, that was the most beautiful and powerful meditation for me. I could feel them working in my throat chakra. Didn't want to come back. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the next few days or until next week, um, hmm, next week, you know, it'd be a good idea to continue focusing on the throat for a bit. You can redo this one as well. You can redo this, do this a few times. Yeah, whenever I was working on my throat chakra in the beginning, like I had to do multiple meditations, like multiple so it's starting to get easier to clear things out, but there's just so many layers. So it's good to, you know, focus on, you know, spend some extra time on it. Beautiful. Yeah. The Journey to Truth Conference link. Hopewell Farms feeling so much joy. Can't wait to take some love to our oh, little avian girls, little chickies. Saw a portal. Cool. Yeah. Feel the Merkaba full speed. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Marcus, so much. I appreciate you so, so much. And, oh, Christine, you're going to the conference. That's going to be so awesome. And Victor and Lo Lakeside Laura. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any last announcements. So this Wednesday, I'm going to have Truth Seeker on for a Starseed Chats. He's a, a musician. He's and he had He's got some really crazy footage of a Merkaba UFO. Uh, so he's he's done a lot of interviews before. He's kind of like well known. He's a music musician. So I'm having him on Wednesday. And then besides that, oh yeah, if you would like to donate or buy me a coffee, there is a buy me a coffee link in the description. And if you would like to try the DNA activation session with the Star Family Workshop, there's a link for that in the description as well. It's up near the top. Um, like I said, it's a one hour channel DNA activation and then a 45 minute workshop that can help you connect with your star family and learn how to activate your DNA. And, and I guess that's about it. There's also a deep chakra healing with inner earth beings link. If you wanted to try that one out, I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you Wednesday. And then next weekend we are doing the third eye. So that's going to be very exciting. Yeah, the heart and throat connection is is so profound. They were showing me that. That's 
so profound. I'm going to work on that more, kind of visualizing the, the heart and throat. Yeah, some people feel, some people don't see as much visuals. They feel things more. So it can come in different ways. All right, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Sunday. And I will talk to you next time.